This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Sylvia Perez, Linda Yu, and weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler. This is ABC 7 News at 11. Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, what do they all have in common and what do they have in common, you ask, with Martha Stewart and Jennifer Love Hewitt? Hmm. Now, we're not talking about politics here, we're actually talking makeup. Mickey Williams lists them, all of them and more, as clients. And she joins us now with some suggestions on ways that we can look better and younger. Each one less than five dollars. We like that idea now. Okay, you, you have a table here of things that you use. Which I'm wondering, what are we going to do with baking soda? What are we going <laughs> to do with toothpaste? But you're saying all of these and some more can make a difference. Absolutely. Okay. So right. let's start first with what okay. you have here. Tell us what this is. Well, one thing is raise your pantry. Go for the baking soda. It's actually a teeth brightening agent, and it's going to be a lot less abrasive on your teeth than peroxide okay. because it's not going to leave all that sensitivity. So it's great. You just add a little bit to your your toothbrush, make a paste out of it, or go for, add it to your favorite minty flavor toothpaste and just okay. brush away. It's going to take off the stains and it's right. not going to be as sensitive. So you don't have to buy Very those nice. things where you put the stuff you on your teeth for days. Right. Exactly. You know, they're yes. too expensive. Right. And this is just a great way. Okay, good idea. And it's an old-fashioned mm -hmm. way, but it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, like you have that. in your hands what here? This is the most fantastic new product. It's by Blistex. It's called Deep Renewal. Okay. Basically has high hyaluronic acid in mm -hmm. it and coenzyme Q10. Okay. And so what it's going to do is it's going to like revitalize your lips, but it's going to do it very, very fast. And they actually clinically proved that it was going to reduce all the lines within your lips, which is going to make you look younger, mm -hmm. by taking lip molds of ladies and then seeing well, that those tested. lines <laughs> actually did okay. fill okay. out. Okay. I love that. And okay. then this is actually a little makeup artist mm -hmm. trick that I'm going to do here, which is kind of fun. What I suggest to do is take like a cherry based lip liner that you can find under $5, trace the outside of your lips, but also go on the inside of your lips uh -huh. and go ahead and apply this fantastic product. So you're going to be using this as kind of like, because it has light refractors uh -huh. in it, as gloss. like a soft yeah. focused lip. So it's just going to make a really very, very natural lipstick here, but you're also going to be getting those incredible anti-aging benefits. Mm -hmm. And so it she just that Leilani has beautiful lips. Yeah, it helps too. <laughs> so she just lined it in the lip pencil, like you said, and colored line, it in, and now you're putting mm -hmm. this on top. I'm okay. going to put this on top. So then that way you're actually getting a treatment out of your lip product. Uh -huh. Okay. You're using a very inexpensive product that has really high end ingredients in it, and you're doing it this under three dollars. Right. Very so nice. how fantastic is that? And you yeah. get that kind of soft, focused mouth instead of that hard, yes. kind of rigid pretty. look. It looks very pretty. That okay. is Absolutely. ultimately more useful. Okay. All right. What else? Next, it's really kind of fun. One, one little trick, we're going to do a little demo with this too, is that if you can just go into the inside room of your, your eyes where you get that red darkness and mm -hmm. kind of like, it just gets darker as you get older and also mm -hmm. when you haven't slept, it gets very, very red. Mm -hmm. yeah. A really great trick that we're going to also show on Leilani because she's such a great sport. Mm -hmm. She's an 18 month old at home, uh -huh. so she can really use this. She's going to sure. look up okay. and we're going to line that inner area of her eye and with what is this white. Doing? white? What it does is it takes out that, it increases the size of the whites of your eyes, if uh -huh. you can see, and it just kind of brightens up the overall appearance. Yes. Let me have you turn just a little bit and look at the camera, right just so we can okay. compare. You can look over there. Okay. Okay, yeah, so we'll you just put, you have it's it on this side, but you don't have it on this mm -hmm. side. Okay, it's okay. very subtle, but yeah, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Exactly, yeah. it's subtle. You can't figure out what uh -huh. it is, but it's uh -huh. just going to brighten that eye area. And then once you apply your mascara and you apply a darker liner underneath, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. And I also want to tell you, I found several versions of white eyeliner from like $25, but they all had the same ingredients. So just go to your drugstore.com, go to your drugstore and find okay. one that's cheaper. It doesn't you make a big spend difference. A lot of money on no. that. Okay. All right. What do you have next? Okay. Another great trick is that when you over tweeze your eyebrows or you basically are just not born with a lot of eyebrows, that really uh -huh. severe, thin, high arch brow is just going to make you look older. So one great trick that a lot of makeup artists use is blonde powders, pencils, waxes on any skin type or skin, you know, tone uh -huh. and also in, no matter what your hair color is. So what you want to do is you want to fill in just the natural area that's on your eyebrow. It's really, you know, it's kind of funny because Leila doesn't need it because she has nice full right. brows. But just give us an example of what mm -hmm. you would do with that. Basically, you would just go ahead, take the blonde print pencil, and you would just fill in this area because thick brows right now are all the rage, mm -hmm. but they also create a very, very soft kind of shadowed look around your eye. 
But you know, if you mm -hmm. have that really thin, sparse brow, it's mm -hmm. going to make you look like you're older. So this is just okay. a great way to kind of wake up your eye, frame right. your face, but not do it with a harsh, dark color because it's most women yeah. okay. mix the color that their hair color is. Okay. This is a great way to kind of just shadow in the pieces and you're going to get that full, pretty what brow. What color is that? This is blonde. So you're okay. always going to go for blonde. a blonde or soft taupe. Okay. Avoid really reddish blonde. Okay. Right. Very okay. good. Great. great. Now we are out of time. These are some great ideas though, aren't mm -hmm. they? they? So sure for are. more anti-aging tips, go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Click on See It on TV. Thank you so much. Okay. The tips. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. And we'll be right back.